Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we spent a lot of money primarily on this cell block here. This is our high risk prison. Um, obviously we've got low and then medium and then we're moving on to high risk which is going to have a lot of gang presence because I'm going to move a lot of these uh, low risk ones, sorry medium risk over to that. Now there was some discussion towards the end about whether or not we're going to have family cells in it. I don't think we'll need it but we're not going to worry about that for the time being. We'll build up from the bottom, bottom up. And then when we get to here, we'll stop building. And if anyone comes in, like say high risk, with uh, family members, then we'll have to sort that out. Speaking of intake, you can see we do have some more people here. That's a, a jail bus uh, just <laughs> nestled between this uh, the myriad of supply trucks that have been coming along here. Uh, we are currently spending a lot of money, time and effort on placing these tiles all the way around just because we we need to really it's just been a bit overdue i know we uh, do need to place some tiles in and around here but that's a future us problem i think uh, let's go to informants there's no traits that i should be aware of and indeed no gang members as well although to be fair gang members just show up as a trait anyway so there we are we do have the nursery now uh, nestled on the left hand side here which seems to be functioning fine you can see that there uh, carolyn there i'm going to watch a bit of Television, Peppa Pig most likely, but um, you never know, it might be Scarface, we, we just we don't know what's shown on these televisions. So, that's getting sorted, that's all done, and yeah, generally we are doing alright. The workers are building quite efficiently this fence, which uh, will obviously connect up to the road gate and then make sure everything's all sectioned off. I'm going to go over to utilities and to our door servo and place a door servo in there, and then right at the bottom as well, because, well, we just need them. That will require some direct electrical connections, so I will run that from there and also from there. I don't know exactly where that needs to be placed, so I'm just going to put them <laughs> like so. It uh, just makes it a bit easier. And then, yeah, what we'll also be able to do is go over to deployment and set that now as staff only, which is something we couldn't do previously. That'll set a staff only as well, and that's job done. Right, so it looks like the... Oh, strangely, the workers... Ah, oh, I was about to commend them of placing all of the power lines first and then the door servo, but uh, they missed one bit out. Okay, so we want a door servo in... Probably from that one, we'll connect it to there and also to the one that doesn't exist up here because that person is waiting for... Um, waiting for that to be opened and... There we go, that is now placed, but the electrical connection is not because because prison architect right cool so sorted there um let's focus then on checking out our programs you can see the programs over here we've got a lot of parole hearing we've got a lot of spiritual guidance things like that i don't know if we were going to fire up this general education qualification i think it would be probably advisable to do so um we're going to fire up two of those in the edit the schedule and just double check that so we want general education qualification which is in the medium and min sex so it, it, it has actually worked that out correctly which is good it uh, was a bit of a nightmare previously and there we are so that's all good looks like that nursery is still yet yeah, food tray that's all good that's all working fantastic right so we have 15 grand, not enough certainly to build all of this, but that is not our intention. Uh, our intention is to get it done as best we can. And if we need to sell more sell more uh, shares, then we can. We own currently 60% of our prison. I'm going to sell some more shares then, and that should be just under 70 grand, more than enough to really crack on with this one. So let's go over to quick build and then cloning and we will start cloning from the left hand side like so. I'm going to do a bit of a straight run um, up to basically the end of the kitchen and I'm hopefully not going to mess that up. Uh, one, two, three. Looks like we've had is that three overdoses there. Um, it is and nobody's come to get them. That is worrying. Hang on. Um, I'd also say snitch there as well so we're going to have to change that. Snitch. Yep. We'll have to change that. Protective custody. That was lucky. Yeah, we'll have to change that. Oh, it looks like they've come back there. And we've got a potential CI. We're going to we're gonna recruit that informant. In fact, in terms of informants, we've had some people leave, so we've only got a couple. Uh, coverage is 48%. 
Do we need to know much more? Um, don't think so. That should be fine. Right, let's do a shakedown. Tunnel. There's the tunnel. Oh, it's a big one. Whoa, they're still <laughs> they're still finding it. Oh my good grief. Is that the longest tunnel ever? Look at that. So, this is an interesting one. We've got a tunnel connecting <laughs> each cell block. Now that is good. That is cool. So, the medium risk on the left-hand side has two connections. They've joined up to the uh, right hand side the low risk which has one two three four five people digging and that tunnel has gone straight up and it's managed to get not right towards the fence but it's getting close it it would be dangerous to let it go much further that is a tunnel distance from the bottom of 41 meters 41 meters they've managed to tunnel in there wow okay um, they are currently uh, trying to break that open because as you can see they do have some ropes on them which means that's dangerous. So we need to get that person there. We need to also get... Um, we need to get as many... Oh, and there's a person there as well with some scissors. We need to get some... We need to get some guards up there, um, but we don't have them. Um, all of these guards, then, I will order up there as fast as possible. Um, but unless we buy some and place them there, this is not going to go too well. So, one, two... And it's sort of cheating, isn't it? Isn't it really? And why did they decide that that was the best course of action to open the door? Uh, let's get them down off the top there. Remember, we haven't got barbed wire. Looks like we've stopped them. There we go. Okay, that stopped them. We've still got some fighting around there, but oh, one escape! Did the man get past? The man get past. It's cause the uh, the climbing ropes still there. Dump the climbing rope. So we've had an escape. I could have micromanaged it a little bit better, probably, but uh, I thought with the guards up there, they wouldn't move. Ah, uh, shame. Anyway, um, one prisoner is currently having their face smashed in by an automatic gate that um, seems to be going on some sort of rage. And hopefully, let's prioritise the removal of those ropes, and dumping those ropes. Yes, hopefully that's the only tunnel, because that is a bit of an issue. Let's remove all of them tunnels. That's a long tunnel. Um, I would have expected it from the dormitory, but so far, and I do stress so far, we haven't found it. Now, realistically, if this dormitory was tunneling, it would have went to the left and connected up to this one, so we would have found that automatically. On the right-hand side, that is not the case, though. We still need to search that place, so that could be um, that could be something that they're digging out with. So, that was a bit of a wake-up call, that one. Um, we probably need to put some barbed wire over things, then. However, barbed wire is 200, and it's very, very, uh... Yeah, that's going to be very expensive to do the full thing. How much would it be just to put a perimeter wall? 200 a square. So we might as well just put a perimeter wall in. Right? I mean, that is that correct? I think it is. We might as well. It's the same cost. Although, to be fair, that does, doesn't account for the brick, I believe. Anyway, so we are removing all of these tiles. Um... Still doing the shakedown. I'm going to stop that because it's just taking too long. Um, and once these have been cleared up, we'll uh, go ahead and sort that out. You can see we've got this getting built. Um, most of it is completed, but obviously I, our, our priorities are no longer <laughs> focused around here. It is certainly focused elsewhere. As in removal of all the tunnels and shoring the place up. So we've had one escape. First escape so far of the facility. I would have thought it was the dormitory that would have been the offender, but it's not. It is not. So. If we had perimeter wall all the way around the outside, how much would this cost? I'm going to go with a lot. Um, if it's shy of 30 grand, I'd be surprised. I would be. Uh, let's see if we can get some more CIs. Uh, there's a potential CI. And there's another potential CI in here. I will have the guard head in there, but you can't do it from this mode. 
Right, here we go. We have line of sight. Lucy Beckwith. There we go. And there's all that. Excellent. So, that was eventful. Um, let's go to informants. I just want to double check. We've had some people turn up, you see. Um, no, can't see any traits. Quick. Quick. That's not, that's not a problem. Right. So, primitive wall then. Um, are the workers idle? Mm, yeah, mo most of it is just move move one thing to another. Okay, that's fine. So, they are idle-ish. So, primitive wall. Let's just see how much it would have cost for the top end. 27 grand, just for the bit at the top. Um, well, I think it's worth it, quite frankly. I think we need to, we need to put it in. There's no, there's no ifs or buts about that. Why is that still not getting dumped? There we are. Uh, yeah, we need a primitive wall. If, if that's, if that sort of thing can happen, and obviously it didn't take them long to go through that door, mainly because of hired the guards and they opened it themselves, uh, and then went through that. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. So a primitive wall, if nothing else, will, um... Reduce that because it has automatic barbed wire. Oh no, it doesn't have automatic barbed wire on the top. So we're gonna have to spend even more to get to get that. Although actually, is that the case? Uh, primitive wall. It does not say. A primitive wall might not be scalable. Barbed wire doesn't say anything, but I'm pretty sure the barbed wire is just a case of if you try to go over barbed wire, you um. Oh, don't say you can't place that there. You can't. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'm going to have to change that up then. I'm going to have to put the door server on the other side. Okay. Um, that door server will be fine, though. I've focused on that, but they're not doing it. I'm going to have to automatically open that. Um, like that. There we are. Yeah, so... You, we might, that might not be scalable, but I know the barbed wire just damages people if they try and go over the top. Certainly having that is the good is a good idea. Um, so it's not money wasted, but it's money that we really, really don't have at the moment. Um, in terms of grants, there's only, we can't, there's the carpentry apprenticeship program, but we haven't even got a manufacturing facility, uh, which has produced 30, 30 license plates, and I don't think we're going to, so, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. At least the shakedown didn't indicate that the dormitories were at, like, a big risk. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. In terms of the perimeter wall, I can either go down here, or I could go around the outside. I'm going to go down here just to make sure that this is walled off. Um, and we'll do it that way. Uh, that is still... Jones is overdosed. Looks like they're now being taken to infirmary, which does have staffing, yes. Um, looks like the workers are trying to finish off this automatic door servo here. So, we'll connect up the door servo. There we go. And that makes things a little bit easier. So, let's go to perimeter wall once again. And then we're going to run a perimeter wall all the way down here. Again, a bit of money, but it'll be worth it. 20 grand. So by the time we do the other side and down there, this is going to cost us, what, 30... <sighs> yes, 80 grand. <laughs> Cal my calculations were way off. I, est I guesstimated for 30 grand for the lot. And that was with... Um, and that was with the uh, thinking we had barbed wire on the top. It does not. And why is that not powered up? Uh, ah, because of course. Because of course. Oh, you can't have... You can't have that going underneath. So I'm going to have to run a cable out and up. Because you cannot have electrical cable going underneath this thing. Should have put it on that side. Oh, no, it couldn't, we couldn't have put it on that side because this wouldn't... You wouldn't be able to place it then. That's why. That's why. Anyway... Not going to do a shakedown tonight. No way. Not happening. Don't need to, I don't think. I think we're focusing primarily on this perimeter wall. 
get that sorted. Get that sorted. Uh, so that's going in there, that's going in there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, looks like that's going all the way down to the bottom as well. That's good. And looks like that's sorted. And then we've encased this entire middle bit off. So we've got some visitors coming in, teachers and whatnot, and parole officers. Still have all the Florent place around here as well. Also, we do need some more capacitors. I mean, that's the least of the problems, really. <laughs> so there's one bit to place, and now that our mark door servo, uh, the door servo is now working. Okay, so that is the perimeter wall on the right hand side. We can not sell shares to get anything back. I'm going to increase a bank. I'm going to take a bank loan out then. Uh, perimeter wall. And there we are. That is the entire facility ordered uh, with a perimeter wall. Obviously, we've only got the top and the right-hand side done. Once the left's done, though, it will be completely surrounded, which is good. Uh, there is a member of staff working in the kitchen that doesn't supply anything and doesn't have any power, so um, we've been prison architect again. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I don't know why they've put them there. Oh, no, they're now actually heading off and doing other things. Right, so, um, we're going to put a door control system in, like so, and we're going to place a door servo on here. Best to do that now, uh, because it means that we can not have to worry about this door, but basically that, where we're waiting for someone to come along and open it, because we're going to be working in here, so all the workers need very quick access anyway, so that's why we're doing it now. Um, not going to prioritise it. We'll get this wall on the left done first. Let's just have a look at some of our prison antics. We've been focusing quite heavily, as we normally do anyway, on the building and construction of it rather than the running. It's sort of just, well, we've automated most of it, haven't we? So we've got the patrols, we've got regime stuff all set, we've got all of the uh, programs set. So it's not as if we have to micromanage any of this. It's just cracking on. Uh, jobs, we've also signed jobs. I'll just double check to make sure that is the case. Prison labour is, as far as I can tell, all assigned. Yes, that's fine. In terms of deployment, all this should be uh, max sec. So we'll just change that to max sec. Hopefully, it'll carry that on as we build, but inevitably it will <laughs> almost certainly change. Anyway, so it looks like that DOS server is now in, and that control system is now in as well. And there we go. There's that automatically connected. So for utilities, we do need to run the water pipe up to about there, I believe. Um, it is there. So that's now the water pipe connected. The electrical cable will do something similar. It will go to there. And then obviously we'll have to start splitting it off with T-junctions and stuff. But we'll go for the cloning uh, first. And there we are. Looks like there was a lot. Looks like there's um, another uh, takeover of the of the yard there. Now in terms of gang membership, let's see, it has increased a little bit. 18 red gang members, one green and now two blue, but there's no leader um, for those uh, blue members or the green members still, so that's fine. Um, the thing is, the gang, mem gang members on the roll are not really a big issue. The problem is that when you get the leader, not just because they start organising, it's because they recruit and that's where the issue, you know, that's where you get a big issue when you get the recruiting. Um, let's just go over to connections here. And we do have this servo to place, uh, sorry, to connect up like so. And then it means that there's now quick access. So I'm going to go over to, uh, speaking of quick access, we're going to go to quick build. And we're going to build from the, um, from the, from the right. And just do that. And I want to then place... This is where I have to get it correct, and almost certainly I will not. Um, that. I 
think that's correct. It looks about right. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Obviously, in this centre here, we probably won't clone anything. We'll, we'll almost certainly just place some uh, stuff manually there. The There's no lights on that right-hand side as well, which I've just noticed. Oh, don't say it. Don't say it's flu. Getting reports of food poisoning amongst the prisoners. Some of the food in the kitchen must have spoiled. Unfortunately for the sick, there isn't much to do but wait it out. Ooh. I cannot remember seeing that event. So, Curtis. Elna Curtis, prison number 22722982. Eight years for false accounting. And currently is... Uh, yes. She's currently asking why is this happening. She has a huge need for bowels. Uh, and status effect is very high because of food poisoning. And good grief, that's a lot of food poisoning. It's even coming out the front door. That's Charlie Osborne. Oh, this is horrible. Is it? Is it spread across... Yeah, there's someone on the loo there. Uh, over there and there. Yeah, oh, good grief, it's everywhere. Um, That is a serious bout of food poisoning. What did you have? The fish. <laughs> Do you have fish? Oh, uh. Yeah, I think it was the fish. Ah, yeah, I was going to say, is it just low risk? It is not. So danger level is actually not increasing. Um, doctors will be overworked, though. Actually, no, doctors are not working. They're not uh, They're not actually going around to treat. Not that you really can, I'm guessing. They just have to, oh, God, make it stop. Everything is coming out. Ooh. Vomiting everywhere. Why is this happening? Yeah. Yeah, that's a dirty uniform. I'm guessing that's the least of... Uh, literally dying. Oh, God, make it stop. Oh, good grief. That is... <laughs> In equal measure, horrific and amusing, I think. Vomiting everywhere. Literally dying. Oh, <laughs> well, we can't accuse this episode of being um, uneventful, at least. So... It looks like the kitchen is pretty much sorted. Look at that. Tiny little bit there. That's just... I don't know why it does that. Um, so this is pretty much sorted. We now need to start running some electrical cable, which we will do like so. Um, and that will connect all of this up, you see. We're going to run it to the far left as well, but only once we've done the cloning. So let's go over to uh, that, and we'll go over to... Um, actually, no. What I want to do first is... I want to... Why can't I sell some shares? Um... No, we need to have a minimum value of the prison. Right. Okay. That's why. Okay. And the problem we have is that we don't... We're not actually making any money. So I'm going to... 75 grand bank loan. That's a problem. I'm going to start reduce, turning some of these off. So we're going to... Get rid of the general education qualification. Like so. Kitchen safety and hygiene is currently running. Foundation education, same thing. Uh, pharmacological treatment to drug addiction, we're going to keep running. Parole and then spiritual. Yeah, that's all fine. There's loads of people interested in that. But we just uh, don't have the funds, which is a problem. And you can sell up to 50% of the prison. Ah, right, so I've maxed out my selling then. That's the problem that we have. Hmm. Didn't realise just how much that's getting used. Um. Oh yes, this this visitation. There was a plan to make it completely sectioned off, wasn't there? So we have the uh, the booths rather than the uh, this one. And I think we'll probably get rid of those visit tables and do that. I think that's probably probably the way to go. Probably the way to go. Right, so I think we will. Uh, there's some early release, some more early release. We'll build that, and we really need to get rid of some of this bank loan. I can't decrease it because you need 25 grand 
need 25 grand. So, going to leave it there. Still making some money. Obviously, we have people being paroled and we're getting three grand from that and people turning up. So, we're getting money from that. And eventually, we will get what we need. It just we're not there yet. So, we'll leave it there for now. Um, in terms of grading, we can see that the reoffending rate is 13%. So, it's not went any higher that, that, it's, it's, I think that's the highest it's ever been, 13%, or at least the highest that we've seen. Uh, punishment 6, Reform 6, Security 2. So those are all quite good. Obviously, they're in the upper upper echelons there. Uh, health is minus 1 because we do have drug overdoses, and, well, to be fair, we've had a massive bout of food poisoning. So that's not good. Prison value, just over the half a million mark. Daily profits are pathetic. Staff fatalities is nothing which is good capacity 151 only three deaths in custody it's still three higher than we'd like but it's also quite good in terms of uh the game prisoners escape one again quite good i think the highest we had on the last series was about 33 or 31 it was a big escape from the dormitory and parole early is 63 with only a four percent reoffending rate so that is overall quite good next episode we will continue on with the building of this and we will see how we get on as always hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings